na 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 Batman! 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 <laughs> Okay, I apologize. I know everybody probably just like cringed up on my singing, but uh, all jokes aside, something very shocking, very surprising came out today, and it was called Batman Wayne's Family Adventure, and it's something that instantly caught my attention, because I think anyone that, you know, browsers my channel knows how much I love superheroes. I am a huge fan of superheroes. I mean, My Hero Academia speaks for itself. I love the concept of it. Heroes versus villains, and, you know, I've always talked about Marvel and DC, and so seeing how there is now a webtoon that is a Batman series is just instantly something that I wanted to read, because I'm just like, wait a minute, Batman and his entire family, like, in a series? Like, yeah, no joke, okay, so FYI, if you're wondering actually what this is, it's literally... Imagine, you know, Wayne's entire family. You have, like, Red Robin, you have Red Hood, you have Oracle, you have Orphan, you have Robin, you have the Signal, and then Batman himself, and obviously Alfred. You have all these characters in this series. And, you know, if you're wanting to read it, there's currently only, like, three chapters out right now, sadly. But, uh, if you want to go ahead, there is actually three more chapters of Fast Pass. But, um, what I want to try to say, though, is, is that... So far from what I've read, this seems incredibly promising because it's like Batman and getting to see him be a family man. That's what gets me because when you really think about it, I think everybody knows the origin story of the Batman. He is someone that lost his parents at an early age, he was born into wealth, and then eventually he became the very thing he feared, basically, Batman, you know, the Bat. And, you know, we know all the villains he goes after, you know, Joker, Penguin, etc. And seeing him actually have a family is actually really interesting, because I know there's a lot of people that have done different character studies of Batman, Joker, and a variety of other characters throughout the entirety of the comics, DC Comics, and when you think about just Batman having, like, family around him, it makes you want to know what is going to happen, what is going to be the family dynamic, and so Wayne's Family Adventure it instantly caught my eye, because it's like, it's going to be a slice of life series, and I'm assuming a tad bit of action sprinkled in, so we're going to have some interesting moments with the characters, getting to see their daily life when they're not just on the job being superheroes, so if anything like that kind of interests you, then honestly, I really do recommend giving it a shot, it's actually very fascinating so far, but uh, let's actually get into the nitty gritty. So, one of the things that, you know, the first chapter opens up with is Duke, which is the signal, you know, arriving and moving into, you know, Bruce's mansion. And, you know, he's a new addition, and he is a recent, you know, hero that was introduced into DC Comics, you know, a few years back. And so, he is relatively new. So, I think it's actually fitting that he is the one to move in to, you know, Bruce's mansion and join the Wayne family. That's really cool to me, and I'm glad to see, like, you know, the character like Signal getting a little bit more spotlight. I always liked his costume design when I saw him in the DC comics, so seeing him in, you know, the, the first few chapters already and seeing like he's going to be a prominent main character automatically makes me happy. Uh, but there is another character, though, that, you know, introduces us to the Signal as well, and that is Robin. So, I'm going to just be straight up with all of you. Robin is probably my favorite hero in DC Comics. Like, if we're not counting, like, you know, the obvious iconic, like, Batman, I think that Robin is easily my favorite, because I remember growing up and watching the Batman and Robin cartoon. I think everybody probably at least has glimpsed maybe some memes, images, or whatever of that, and I remember really loving Robin. I, I, ha I was a big fan of Robin. I loved his design. I liked the sidekick, you know, aspect of Robin with Batman, and so just having him in the series instantly made me happy, because I was like, you really can't have a Wayne family adventure type story, like a, a story focusing around family, without Robin, and seeing how Robin seems to be like a main character, like a really big main character, especially, like, he had a lot of panel time throughout the first three chapters, it's just like, you clearly see he's gonna be a major focus, and I do wonder what direction that Wayne's family adventure wants to go down, because I think anyone that has read any DC comics, or 
definitely aware that there's different plot lines, different storylines, like you got the killing joke and all that, and, you know, you have the Batman that laughed, you know, you, you have different directions the stories can take within Batman, and I do wonder what timeline Wayne's family adventure is going to be focusing on. Is it an entirely new one that has completely branched off from everything previously, or will it actually have some tie-ins with some other sections of DC Comics? That that's what I'm wondering about, because I, I would love to see, like, let's say, the Joker introduced into this. Like, imagine how the Joker would be in this. I, I want to see that, because easily one of my favorite villains in all of comics is definitely Joker. I've always found him fascinating because of just how he always has this mysterious origin. He could be almost anyone. Anyone can be the Joker in terms of just how he is written. So, yeah, I do wonder if he will be introduced as well, if it will not just be, let's say, heroes, but also villains as well. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into some stuff. So, clearly from what the first chapters try to do with, you know, Batman, Wayne's Family Adventure, they try to introduce all the characters that are gonna be in the main spotlight. Like I said, the Batman, you're gonna have Robin, you're gonna have Red Hood, you're gonna have the Signal, you're gonna have Orphan, you're gonna have, you know, uh, Red Robin, you're gonna have, you know, you know, Gordon as well, which is the Commissioner. You have all these different characters that are introduced, all the, the main characters I think everybody will definitely recognize, and I think this is a really good thing, because it's like, if, you know, Webtoon wants to have this collaboration with DC, this is a smart move, because bringing in some of the most iconic characters that everybody will probably recognize is something that is a smart play, in my personal opinion, and I think that uh, if this is, you know, a thing that's going to be going on for a while now, like if Webtoon is going to actually continuously have more DC stuff collaborating with them, I would love to see, like, a Superman, I would love to see, like, Green Lantern, or Aquaman. I would like to see an entire Justice League. Like, imagine a Justice League webtoon. That would be awesome. Like, I would really love to have something like that if that indeed happens. And so, I think that this is a really interesting thing that just got announced today. I, I'm really excited, and I cannot wait to see where this story goes. It's definitely something I want to be following now, because it's like, I you can't really have enough Batman, and having Batman kind of cross into something that I have been really a big fan of recently, like, you know, talking about all these different series, you know, you know, Villain to Kill, to, you know, Doombreaker, you know, Purple Hyacinth, and all that, just being able to now read something that's, like, from DC in a, you know, as this format, is something I never thought I would see, but it, indeed, it happens. It's just like, okay, I, I'm looking forward to it. So, there's a few things I do want to talk about, and that is the artwork. So, when I looked at the artwork of the first three chapters, it, uh, it looks really good. It looks very faithful to some of the designs you would actually see in, like, a DC comic for Batman. I, I think in terms of the art style, the direction it's going, it has a nice blend of comic in webtoon and that is what i really like because it's like when you think about how like series like you know let's say purple hyacinth or you know i'm the grim reaper or any of those type of series i've discussed already in the past you know we we know the design is definitely distinct it's different from manga and it's different from comics and when you see how this is written you know wayne's family adventure it has a nice blend of let's say a dc comic but also what we're used to on webtoon and i find that cool it's a nice dynamic because it's like it doesn't feel too different from either and I feel like the artists really went in and gave the most they possibly could to make this you know look authentic like you know for both sides or fans from both you know sides coming in joining together and reading this series for the first time because I feel like anyone that doesn't really actually know much about Batman will be able to also enjoy this because the art style is very distinct which that's the next thing to get into which I should have already talked about so do you need to actually read Batman before you start this series. No. So, just like how with almost any comic for DC or Marvel or all that, usually you have different origin stories and it goes down a different timeline, different route. You know, different depictions of said characters. And I'm going to assume that Wayne's Family Adventure is going down that exact same route. There might be some tie-ins or maybe some other sections of DC, but overall you're going to have it to where it's going to be its own separate entity and you do not need to read anything else to really get a good grasp on what's going on here. The main thing that you will recognize is probably maybe a little me Memes or a little, I guess, like, you know, I guess things for the fans that have read the comics and all that, but overall, I feel like if you want to actually get the gist of everything, you could just dive right in and read it. You don't actually need to see anything prior up to this point to start this series, so I would not worry too much about that, but um, there is one thing I do want to mention, though. 
since I didn't mention that, I do wonder how serious the story is going to get. Because so far, it's slice life. But obviously, we have seen a little bit of action tied in into chapter 2 and 3. So it is possible it could go down to a very serious story. And I do wonder what direction it will go. Because I do like the family dynamic. I think it's really interesting to have Batman in that situation. But I do wonder what else is going to be added in to keep, you know, everything flowing right. But uh, yeah, I just, I love it. I I, I cannot wait to talk about it more. When more chapters come out, I might actually do a, uh, a chapter review. Like when chapter 4, 5, and 6 comes out, I'll probably make a video on it, actually. I'm really looking forward to what this series has in store for it in the future. So before I wrap up the video, there's a few things I do want to say. If you are interested in reading Batman Wayne's Family Adventure, link is in the description and also in the comment section with my pinned comment. So if you want to read it, you can. There's currently three chapters out right now, but also there is three more chapters after that if you actually use FastPass, which I personally did and really love the chapters. I cannot wait to actually talk about them. But uh, yeah, once again, link's description if you are interested in reading it. But I guess I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoy my content, you know, please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like. And with that, guys, be safe, stay healthy. Chibi out.